good morning. Now my hair is not done. I have not brushed my curl out or fluffed it out because it's already starting to fall. This is the first time I've actually curled my hair since I got my keratin treatment. And I want to see if it will stay all day or if it's just going to drop the fuck out. So hi guys, how are you? I'm off to work. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe if you haven't already and that little bell if you want to know when I upload. I try to upload my daily rants every day. Uh, and if they're the car rants like you're looking at now, they ain't fancy and edited or any of that shit. I just keep it raw. Raw. Because um, I was recording so many and then I was like, oh, I'll just edit them later and make them look fancy. And they're still, yeah, no. So I just wanted to like, I like doing, oh, I guess we can get it later. I like doing the rants because it's kind of like a form of therapy for me. I don't know if anybody's watching. It's kind of like, you know, when they tell you, well, you got to get shit out, write a letter to somebody who you got to like tell something to. And uh, why did I just sound like a TV evangelist? Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, they tell you, like, write a letter, everything you want to, you know, tell them, get it out, and then burn it, or rip it up, or you don't have to send a letter, but it just feels better to get it out. Well, I guess that's what I'm doing, but um, I'm doing it on video, and I'm putting it on the internet, so that shit could, you know, even if I deleted it off the internet, it's been on the internet. So, yeah, no going back from this shit, huh? Ha. Ha, people. So, have you ever liked a product? Or you thought you like a certain product, and then you're like, oh, yeah, great. Like, I'm talking about makeup right now. Um, like, you see the color online. You don't see it in the store. You see it online. And think, I got sweet tea. Yes and think, yeah, I, I want that. And you get it. And then when you get it, yeah, no. It's really nothing like what it looked like online and doesn't perform like it should. But you, and, and you know this, you've worn it like number of times and you just like are like, but I, you know, I want to like it. I want to really like it. I want it to work, but every time you use it, shit don't work. It's still the same. It still sucks. So yeah, that is my experience with, hold on, I'll show you because I'm out of light. I can. This Kat Von D, the Glimmer Veil, the Everlasting Glimmer Veil, and oh shit, I can't see the color, but it's this goldish color, which, okay, you see that? It looks really, well, you can't really, but the moment I do this, it disappears, and the shit tastes nasty. I'm just gonna tell you, it tastes bad, and this is not that damn old for it to be tasting bad. It has not gone bad. God. Yeah, it has a really weird taste to it. But yeah, I want that like, you know, dot that gold right in the center of your nudes and just get it that pop. And the, you can dot it, but the moment you press your lips together, that shit disappears. And it dries the shit out of your lips. So, if you're using a matte lipstick, a matte lipstick, and then you put that over, mm -mm, you're going to be peeling your damn lips off by the end of the day. Or, not even by the end. So, like right now, I have a matte lip gloss, I guess not gloss, but you know, lip cream by NYX. And 
then I have this like no name kind of goldish gloss but it's not it doesn't like really boom but I just put up and plus I don't want it to be glossy I want it to be matte but with a pop of gold so I did the NYX matte lip cream with a couple dots of this gloss just to keep it a little moist and then the glimmer veil over it to hopefully you know not make the glimmer veil like freaking oh my god literally you feel like you can peel your damn root uh root <laughs> uh lips off i don't like like her her any the i've only tried the glimmer veil formula and um What's the other one that comes in the long tube? It's a lip cream. It's not a, you know what I mean? Um, but it's matte. Where I think it's last all day or some shit like that. That shit does the exact same thing too. Even if you put like chapstick underneath, you know what I'm saying? A moisturizer one underneath. It's still fucking, I, I like, ugh. I'm just not impressed with her shit. I'm just not. Yep, yep, yep. Her foundation makes me turn orange. Literally, throughout the day, I kept looking in the mirror going, why do I look like I got a bad spray tan? And it didn't matter what shade, tone, it all did that as it would oxidize through the day. It just fucking turns orange. So, yeah. Uh, so, anywho, yeah. You ever have one of those products? What's your product that you just keep trying? You just keep being like... I don't care if it's makeup, cleaning supplies, whatever. What is something you've bought that you were excited to buy and then you kept trying it and when you tried it, you were like, uh, and you weren't, at first, you were just like, uh, but I still, I, I was in love with this. I, I was so excited about this. I have to keep, I'm just gonna keep an open mind and I'll do it again. What is yours? What is your uh, product? Let me know in the comments below. Um, <clears throat> so, also, <laughs> I'm going to do a video about my boobies. Yes. Yes, I am. Hopefully to educate you women out there that really do your research when you do plastic surgery. Please, just do it. Watch and, you know, before you think about doing plastic surgery... Uh, watch Botched. So that will really make you want to do your research. But anywho, I am going to do a video about my boobs. I have breast implants and I've had them done twice. So I'm going to discuss my um, trials and tribulations with my boobs. So I'll probably film that next week when I'm off and it's not going to be all glamorous and you're not going to see my titties but I just want to kind of show you what happened and I think a lot of people don't realize a lot of stuff that comes with breast augment, 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 augmentation um, so yeah so I'm going to do that titties um, so hit the bell and it'll let you know when I upload and then you can see if I've uploaded it. Um, like I said, I have a couple of videos next week that I'm going to sit down and do. I have, uh, yeah, I got time. All right. Yesterday was a beast at work. It was beastly. It was crazy. I busted my boot. Hey, I think everybody's trying to get their haircuts in. Uh, before they go out of town for 4th of July. Mm -hmm. So it's turning out to be a very busy week. Yay! Because I'm taking time off next week. And it's always nice to make a little extra money. And see your clients. So yeah. I was exhausted when I got home yesterday. Um, tomorrow I'm off. I'm happy about that. I will post something. Maybe I'll just Maybe I'll do my booby video tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. 
I have to be somewhere at 4.30 tomorrow afternoon to do some hairs on one of my friends slash clients, uh, color. Uh, I bleach his hair out to like a really cool icy blonde. It's really pretty. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I can videotape that. I don't know. I don't know. It's not going to be done. Oh my God. Ow. It's not, I got a hair in my eyeball. It's not going to be done. It's going to be done in his kitchen. So, anywho, I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. If you're watching this and you want to see it, let me know in the comments. Let me hear my comments. Just comment. Um, that's about it, guys. Yeah. I, um, I'm excited Sunday. By the looks of it, the weather's going to be awesome in Atlanta area, Georgia area, North Georgia, and I think there is a, well, so far there's a ride planned for Sunday, so I will be out on my motorcycle on Sunday. Yes, I will. Putting in some miles, so I will not be uh, recording on Sunday. If, it, if I do, it's going to be like right before I go on the ride, but usually I'm scrambling to go on the damn ride uh, to get ready and stuff. So, Yes, bitches. What the fuck is going on here? People, why are you retarded? I swear. People are really retarded on how they drive. What are you doing, dude? So, yeah. Um, Sunday I'm riding. Monday I'll definitely tape something. Yeah. All right. I don't want to keep you if you've ended up watching till the end. I appreciate you. I do. I appreciate you. What is the rhyme or reason of my vlog? If you're new, I don't know. I'm trying to figure that shit out. I am just trying to figure it out. Like I said, I think it's just my therapy session. And I like to educate here and there. I think like when you're over 50, hopefully you've learned something in your fucking life. Uh, I definitely have learned from a shit ton of mistakes. And if I could, <laughs> if I can give anybody any type of uh, advice or, you know, and how to avoid shit, I would, I, I want to. Not necessarily thinking people are going to follow it, but maybe they'll think about it if they're in the same situation. So that's what my vlog's about. And I just keep the shit real. I keep it a hundred percent real. I'm not trying to be some beauty guru. I do like talking about makeup and beauty stuff and hair because that's the industry I'm in. And it's really frustrating as somebody who's over 50 and still does like bright red hair and fun makeup and everything like that, there's really not people out there my age that do vlogs and talk about products and stuff. I mean, there's a few, but they literally, they talk about facial products and foundations and blah, 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 blah. But they don't talk about like fun eyeshadows and lipsticks and stuff like that. I mean, there are a I, a lot more of us out there that aren't just, no offense to the ladies who are vanilla, but you know, not everybody wants to look woo like this. And that's okay. That's okay. But those of us that do, it's fucking hard to find people that, you know, all the gurus that I'm watching, the beauty gurus, they're all like in their 20s, maybe 30s. They got that nice beautiful skin. I can't ask them like, so what do you use, you know, for blah, 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 because they haven't gotten to that point in their life. It's good for them. Although I will tell you, I have, I have, especially from the male beauty gurus who do a snatched face and who are a little, um, I don't want to say older cause they're not that old, but who do that. Um, who do that? I have learned some foundation tricks because those guys kind of have to, you know, beat that face a lot harder to cover up stuff. So, anywho, I have learned something from them, and that's what it's all about just learn something. And it would be so nice to see, and I'm not saying for myself, although if anybody wants to, I have 
old. It would be so nice to see older vloggers who are trying to educate people on products for older skin get some fucking sponsorships. Yeah, I would love. I would love it because, you know, especially there's this one company, Sunday Riley. Hi, Sunday Riley. If you are fucking listening, I love their product. I have used a couple of their products and I'm obsessed. They're expensive. They really are. Right now, I'm saving for a $1,500 dental bill. I So I'm just using the products that I have, but I would typically love to do a full facial face regime day and night with Sunday Riley products and honestly really see what they do to my skin. Because what I do use, uh, I use some of their stuff at night and da -da, you know, it's not consistent and it's mixed with other products. I was really impressed with uh, one of their alpha hydroxy, their, well, like their, you know, lightning serums, and why is this taking so long? Uh, don't understand when they decide, let's do construction right in the middle of rush hour. Let's just, you know, let's do it. I don't even think it's construction, but whatever. So, anywho, uh, yeah, I want to see older vloggers get some fucking sponsorships and from fun, fun, uh, makeup brands too. If we're willing to play with the makeup and do shit like that, come on. You, I get that we're not your targeted audience. I get it. I fucking get it. It's all the like, you want the early 20-something-year-olds. That's your audience. Or even the late teens. I get it. But, hey, there, since makeup has gotten so fantastical, and there's so much out there, and it has changed so much, just because you're at a certain age doesn't mean you still don't want to play with your makeup. So, anywho. Hi, sponsors. Think about it. Okay, I said I was going to hang up, so I'm hanging up now. Why? Why? So weird. I'm going to hang up now and uh, hang up. I'm going to stop this video right now and drive my ass to work and pick up some freaking uh, breakfast. I'm starving. My stomach just growled. All I've had is coffee and sweet tea. So I'm amped. Bitches, I'm amped. Have a fabulous day. Keep checking back. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned. Things are going to get more entertaining as time goes on because I just get more comfortable in front of this fucking camera phone on my rants. I do also have a camera. All right, guys. Peace.